people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that dancehall artist, more popularly known as Laden, he has been arrested along with two other persons, including a young and we are speaking about a place called St. Elizabeth. Now, people, based on the information from the Popo, it is said that these men were driving in a black Mercedes Benz and people, I think that this Mercedes Benz belongs to the artist we are speaking about, Laden. And it is said that they were pulled over by the Paw Paw signal to stop. However, the artist driving the car stopped and then he basically sped off. However, the Paw Paw gave chase and basically it is said that based on the report from the Paw Paw, it is said that somebody did some sort of toll through the sunroof of the vehicle and people, the Paw Paw see them, the Paw Paw spot them. And based on the information, it is said that they took these men in the car and took them back to the location where said toll was ditched or fling out. Now people, based on the information, it is said that this toll had several rounds. Some cases one round and some other cases a couple of rounds. People, I don't know the specifics. However, I know that it is bad news, point blank and period. Now people, when we think about this and we think about dancehall artists and we see the amount of bad press that they've been getting and people, sometimes justifiably so because it seems as if these dancehall artists always want to link themselves, affiliate themselves, associate themselves with gangsters because people, the truth and the facts that in dancehall and it is sad whenever you have any sort of gangster personality or gangster credibility it makes you a bigger artist and people i don't know the specifics of what happened in this case so people the point that i am trying to make is this i don't know if lad knew that one of the persons that was traveling in the vehicle because people the truth and the facts that he could pick up a friend he doesn't know what type of association or what type of link the friend have or the friend also have a next friend and that friend happened to have a tool like mr people i cannot put it into context because i don't know like i said this is a new thing i think this happened last night in a saint elizabeth like i said so people the point that i am trying to make is that all of this is just basically being revealed right now now people when we think about the fact that a dancehall artist even though Jamaica is a black country, we have to also understand that there is a thing called profiling. There is a thing called stereotyping. And people, I don't know if they were playing a whole bunch of music, a whole bunch of loud music. But people, first thing first, if you are traveling and people, I am not trying to justify anybody's action or teaching any sort of thief. Me just a talk, me just a freestyle. The point that I am trying to make is that if you know, say you have a tool, you are not supposed to be in any sort of Mercedes Benz or any sort of high profile car with three men, people, at least a man and a woman. And that's it. We are talking about two people. No more than two men and people. It is even worse if they were driving into the car and people, you know, said Laden have a style where he always has his hat. We are talking about him baseball cap, basically flip to the box of people. Me no know that is going to bring all sorts of red flag and people like like I said, I was not there. I am just giving possible scenarios, point blank and period. Now, people, when we think about the career of this artist, Laden, he is basically down spiraling and people, I did not say he fell off. I am just saying that he is not at the pinnacle of his career anymore. Like he was back in the days with Stephen, the genius McGregor. We are talking about the top, top producer, world internationally known producer. So people, I don't know if it is because he is basically fading away or his career is kind of down spiraling that he got himself into some sort of mix up with some sort of person that have some sort of criminal background. Like me said, people, I don't know anything could have happened. He could have been an innocent person just giving somebody a ride and basically get caught up. However, the fact that he was driving the car, the fact that he was the one that sped off when the popo basically telling for pull over people it is not going to look good in court 
And when it goes to court, the fact that the pawpaw, based on what they claim, the fact that they saw the person, ditch the tool out of the sunroof. So people may just say, whenever this case goes to court, and they do ballistic or they do any sort of fingerprinting and use it as evidence. The fact that he was driving the car and if this tool has its fingerprints, people, it is not going to look good. And we are also speaking about the domino effect, the implications that it is going to have on his career. Because people, if he is convicted, he is going to lose that. We are speaking about US visa. He is going to lose that work permit. We are speaking about any sort of visa for any other place in the world. I am speaking specifically Canada, UK, where they are, where they are strict. People, it is going to basically be bothersome for his career, point blank and um, period. Some people may just say, I hope that he has some big sort of lawyer. I am speaking about the champagne. I am speaking about the bird summers. May I talk about the top, top lawyer, them, the Nita Roberts and Ray T. Lele, blue, blah, bling. Because people, the truth and the fact is that even though his career is not on the hype that it was once was, people it is going to get even worse because people like we see whenever these dancehall artists get into any sort of problem we see say, the communications manager of the jamaica constabulary force we are speaking about stephanie lindsay she is always going to highlight it because people we see say, them basically put a thing out or have a thing out for the dancehall artists however the dancehall artists they have to blame themselves because it's short and the facts that they are the ones that are associating are affiliating themselves with certain kind of shaky character and people like them say show me your company i tell you who you are and people in this case this might come back and aren't the dancehall artist point blank and period now people what i am going to say is going to sound a bit controversial but the truth and the fact is that if you are driving a mercedes benz and you are pulled over by the popo with some sort of rickety tickety we are talking about popo trooper care people there is no way that the popo should have caught him and people i am not encouraging any sort of getaway driver mentality or saying that them should have outrun the popo rate lele blue blah bling me just uh, say obviously we see say, this artist him kind of get bummy obviously we see that he is not a seasoned veteran obviously I don't know exactly what happened in the car. I don't know if the person that had the tool tell him, say, me have a tool, so maybe it might not be a good idea for basically stop the car. However, based on the Popo report, like them say, he stopped and then sped off. So people, it seems as if he was kind of guilty. That is an act of guiltiness. And people like me say, I don't know his state of mind or his mind frame at the time when all of this happened. Me just uh, said the fact that he sped off and then stopped. I met the Popo them catch him so people the point that i am trying to make is that you could have a car that is as fast as a lightning and a basically speed up like you're on the daytona 500 however you cannot outrun the radio you cannot outrun the cb and people i don't even know if the popo in jamaica have any sort of radio because it's truth and the fact that maybe it is because of the hilly terrain but people i hardly see them with that and that is not really something that you see in any other sort of popo force any other place in other words people may not know so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up